several of <clears throat> My name is Leon Lasker, SSDTR. I may have heard a lot of comments here uh, tonight. <clears throat> Being like most of them, I do have an uh, agriculture background also. I agree with what uh, Mr. Robinson said. When you get the soil back right, there's no time you get that back right, you know. Going back on the coming of this Charles made earlier, though, but from the very beginning of this project, uh, it's been a little misleading. Uh, first time I was contacted, um, it, it, there was just some perimeter information that just wasn't presented. First of all, I never understood this is a 36 inch pipe now with a turbo strapped on its rear. You know, <laughs> we're talking about putting this one a few thousand feet of our hospital here. <laughs> Appreciate the comments about the forestry. You know, every time we go to in September, we have to build a bridge over the current pipeline. Mr. McClary, that runs close to our property. Um, I have to be on, in, 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 in other areas of just, just in agriculture, and, you know. Um, if I understand it correctly, you know, tonight, we, I think the commissioners adopted some resolution about five foot, between five foot of cover on agriculture, man. Personally, I have some land that's just south of the hospital that's got one pipeline going through it that I, I developed one phase as a subdivision. I've got a second phase that I'll to develop a subdivision. Now they want to jump over three or four hundred feet. Now they want to be now they want to be valued to another 30 or 40 acres on the property down there. You know, I guess basically I, I, I need whenever you come out of not only on that coastal land, need to bear this deep enough to even on my timber land because the product I have to go back and start farming since y'all value it so much. And the last, there, is there any type, do you have anything that's structured when it comes to how a piece of land is valued, or how you are, or how this project will be valued, that specific piece of land? <laughs> we don't have any specific ways that we monetarily or financially value the land. What we're doing is trying to value the environmental impacts of the land and the impacts on you as a landowner. So those are the things that we're looking for for ways to minimize the impacts. Um, the, the company has, will probably get in touch with landowners at some point in time in attempt to negotiate the easement, um, and that is generally the area where you have an opportunity to present to them how much your land is worth to them. So maybe you're, maybe you have, crop that would be that you would be able to grow during construction. So that would be an opportunity for you to present to them, hey, I'm going to financially be impacted during this, this time during construction. So there are many, many ways during uh, those times where you can try and work out your financial I understand plan. that, but you're, you're not making me feel really warm and fuzzy here. <laughs> Thank you. 